How's it going guys? I'm gonna show you a really quick solution on how to convert a UTC offset time uh, to any other time zone offset in C Sharp. Um, so say you have an, an application that's sending in like a UTC time. Um, I'm gonna just, let me uh, store that UTC time in a date time offset a variable, we'll call it UTC time. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just simulate like if you have a UTC offset value pass in your application, I'll just hard code it in there for now. Um, so what you want to do is say we want to convert this to Eastern Time Zone. Um, there's a this class called Time Zone Info, and you can find that time zone by ID. So like Eastern, the ID is Eastern. Standard time. And then all you have to do is create another date time offset variable. Uh, we'll call that converted time. Converted time. And we then again call time zone info dot convert time. Uh, we want to convert our UTC time that's up top and we pass in this, uh, actually, I have to create a variable here, to, so we'll call it time zone info. So that's a time zone info object. Um, So we can do that. That this is your time zone info object that stores Eastern Standard Time information, um, and then all you have to do then is you can then display your converted time. So we'll say converted time here. Run the application. We get our Eastern time converted. So it was 1023 passed in UTC time. This plus zero zero indicates UTC time and it converts it into Eastern time, which is four hours uh, less than the UTC time. Uh, another helpful thing, helpful thing I can show you is um, let's, let's convert it into every time zone. So what we can do here is uh, let's write, let's write our UTC time. So we passed in UTC time is and we'll put in we'll display our UTC time and what you want to do here is you can actually loop through each time zone object and you do that calling this time zone info class here again and we can say get system time zones. So this will get, this is a helpful way of, if you don't know what your time zone ID is, like that, what I worked on in the previous step, um, you can call this and it will display all your, all the available time zones. So again, we do the same thing, create our converted time, date time offset, and we call time zone info dot convert time pass in the UTC time and here we want to grab this time zone info object up here and we can say console dot right line um, let's say
So say we want to display our time zone info display name. That will show you the actual, just a readable display name. Um, actually, let's let's do the ID. Uh, the ID should give you the value that you want to pass in if you that we did in the previous step. Oh, I call it convert time. Let's call it converted time. Keep it consistent. And then at the end here, we'll do a console dot read key so it doesn't close the console window. So we'll run this, and as you can see, it, it displays, we have your UTC time up here, and then it will display the, the time zone value for each of those, these time zones. So it's really helpful for if you are storing UTC time and you wanna convert it into your users, um, local time sometimes I you can do that uh, there's different ways to do that like you can convert your time uh, based off of your users local time but if you don't know your users local time and you store like a time zone that time zone ID in a database and you know um, all of your users want to see the the date times in that time zone regardless of what their local time zone is um, this is a good way to to do that. So I hope you found that solution helpful. Um, like the video, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be posting a lot more videos like this, just really quick solutions. I want to try to get to the point um, quickly and uh, get you guys your, your issues solved. So thanks again and have a good day.